Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today I would like to talk to you about modding games and uh, specifically Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Skyrim, even Oblivion. So the Elder Scrolls, basically. And it's never been a better time than now to start playing those or replaying those games with mods installed. But I would like to give you some tips and advice because I learned through trial and error and first ask yourself the question whether or not you actually want your game or need your game to be modded with all kinds of stuff. Because the vanilla games of Skyrim, of Fallout New Vegas, uh, Fallout 3 are highly playable. I mean they they offer great value, they're big worlds with lots of stuff to do. So if you're just a casual gamer or uh, I've never played Fallout or, or Skyrim, um, you know, you can stick with the original game as the developers uh, have intended it to be. But if there are s certain aspects of the games that bug you, that you don't like, then that might be a reason to uh, look into these mods that are available on the Nexus. And again, it's never been a better time to browse those files on the Nexus well, because these games are available for quite a while now, and most mods that are highly popular are uh, fully developed. So, yeah, you, you, you can just download them and, and, and use them in your games. Uh, that sounds really easy, but it can become a little complicated. So you need a little bit of knowledge how to uh, browse your um, uh, directories and how to copy files and move files around. And... Um, uh, and I guess you know that uh, watching this video, but still um, you could run into certain problems installing mods. Now I would highly advise you, if you're modding um, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, I, I would stick with the Nexus Mod Manager because it's a very convenient program and it can install yeah, the mods just for you. You can download it from the site right into this little program, the, the Mod Manager, and it will install it on, uh, in, in the right directory. There are no problems there. Um, but what it also does, it basically dumps all the mods, as far as I understand, it dumps it right into the data folder of the, uh, the game in question. Now, there's also another program that I think is quite convenient, but only for Skyrim, and that's Mod Organizer. Because what uh, the difference between Nexus Mod Manager and Mod Organizer is basically that Mod Organizer um, installs the mod in a different directory than the directory that your game is in. So it doesn't mess up your game, or it shouldn't mess up your game. As with Mod Manager, the Nexus Mod Manager, uh, it just dumps everything in the directory, in the data folder, basically. And that can mess up things sometimes. But it, I've tried the uh, mod organizer uh, with um, Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3, but I, I just it didn't work out for me. So I advise you, if you're playing Skyrim, use the mod organizer. If you're playing Fallout 3, uh, Fallout New Vegas, uh, go for the um, uh, go with the um, uh, fall, uh, the Nexus mod manager. Right now, also another tip is to really think hard what aspects of the game you actually like to mod. Don't go downloading the whole top 20 on the Nexus and just dump them into your, uh, 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 in your directory. That's not a good idea. I'll tell you why later. But first, think hard what aspects you don't like about the game. For instance, Skyrim. I didn't like, what I didn't like about Skyrim was basically the atmosphere. The, it, it was very grayish, uh, very d dark and moody and sort of depressing looking. So I really went for an ENB, a, a graphical overhaul um, to enhance the graphics, uh, give it more color, more bloom or whatever, you know, all kinds of effects. Uh, that's what I really like uh, for, for Skyrim as well as uh, some custom quests that uh, a lot of people have made a lot of interesting and nice quests uh, because in the original game I didn't really like the quests that much but a whole lot of good modders have, have made some really interesting uh, quest mods and uh, I, I really like those. Apart from that I, I also like armor uh, mods and, and weapon mods and all that so that's that's okay as well. Um, so think hard what you what you don't like about the game and whether or not there, there there's probably a mod for it that will fix it right 
Okay, now another thing, if you've basically found a mod that you would like to install, you should really read the description, and especially the section where it, uh, it will tell you whether or not the uh, specific mod is compatible uh, with other mods, right? You might have, for, for example, you might have something like uh, Climates of Tamriel installed for Skyrim, but there's also there are also other mods that change the weather, that change uh, or or that introduce uh, thunderstorms or or lighting for of, uh, in Tamriel. So it those mods might conflict with each other. So you should really read those uh, the description that comes with the mod. Also, certain mods need other mods to function properly. So you should really read those. Uh, uh, things in the description. Uh, the good thing about Nexus now, if you download a certain mod, it sometimes pops up a, a, a window that will tell you what other mods you'll need to actually use the specific mod you were you want to download. So that's yeah, very convenient. But still, uh, you should really read the description um, because again, a certain mods might need other mods to function. You need to first download those mods, get those to work, and then continue with the mod that you really want. So that's very, very important. Now, another advice I can give you, don't, and I already hinted this before, don't go downloading all the mods in, um, in, like immediately and, and then play the game. Start with one or two and see if the mods work properly. So install, first of all, I mean, install Climates of Tamriel and maybe a water mod or something like that, or a, a, a texture pack, high, high definition texture pack. Uh, and then start the game and check whether or not the game actually still works. With Fallout New Vegas, I had a lot of problems installing certain mods and I couldn't figure out anymore where the, the problem actually um, occurred in in my load order I didn't know what what uh, mod actually caused the problem and this is this is something you can really avoid by just installing one or two mods at a time and once you've installed them check out if it works if it doesn't work you immediately know what the problem should be certain mods might need another mod or something like that so you um, you know, you, you won't run into uh, that uh, kind of problem. So that's basically um, what I would like to advise you. So uh, have patience and try uh, with tr a little trial and error is, is always involved in these, uh, these things. But uh, you'll probably figure it out. So that's it. These are the, uh, my, this is my advice, my tips for you if you want to play a modded version of your game. Let me know what you think. I'll leave comments and uh, subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching.